In this video we'll cover how easy it is to remove sensitive content in PowerPDF for Mac and ensure that all associated metadata is also removed during the process. Let's go ahead and open up a document in PowerPDF for Mac. We'll open up the document shown here in our recent files list. We can see in the document there are some names that we wish to redact that occur throughout the document. PowerPDF for Mac provides several options for redaction depending on whether you want to manually mark the text and images or whether you would like to use our powerful search and redact capability. Redaction properties can be set allowing the user to specify the colour of the redacted blocks and optionally choose custom text to mark inside the redacted boxes. Let's go ahead and select mark redaction and mark text and images from the security ribbon. We'll select the text Curtis Anderson. We can see that there is a red line around the marked text indicating that it's been marked for redaction. If we move the mouse over that text, we can see what the final document will look like once the redactions have been applied. Next, we'll use the search redact function. We will search the current document for the phrase Roy Barnard. We can see eight instances of the phrase entered have been found in the document and we can select them all with one click and mark all the selected results for redaction with another click. Scrolling through the document, we can see all the locations where the phrase will be redacted. To apply the redaction, we simply select Apply Redaction button from the security ribbon and select Apply. We are optionally asked if we wish to remove any embedded metadata that PowerPDF has found within the document. Finally, we are prompted to save the changes to a new document. When we select Save As, PowerPDF by default will automatically append the file name as shown with the text redacted as a suffix to the file name. The user can easily change this to a prefix or suffix the file name as they wish. Thanks for watching.